Hats the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? If you're like a lot of people, you might go to the nearest window, open the blinds, and let the morning sunshine warm your face. There's nothing quite like the sun's rays to brighten your day and get you started off right. We humans tend to really enjoy the sun. Whether playing on a sandy beach in the middle of summer or soaking in the rays by the side of a pool, we love the warmth the sun provides. Even as seasons change and temperatures drop, a ray of sunshine on a wintry day can warm the heart. Have you ever wondered how important the sun is to us here on Earth? Exactly what would happen if the sun suddenly disappeared? Or what would we do if the sun suddenly went out? The sun is a gigantic star that sits right in the middle of our solar system. It's a huge ball of fire that continues burning, due to its constituent elements, and it is by far the most important source of energy to sustain life on the Earth. Not just Earth, but all the other celestial bodies of our solar system are locked in elliptical orbits around the Sun. It's fair to say that the Sun is the supreme power of the solar system, keeping everything in a state of calm and tranquility. It's impossible to understand fully how crucial the Sun is to life on Earth and the very existence of all the other planets around us. As mentioned earlier, planets and other celestial bodies revolve around the Sun in elliptical orbits. To be more precise though, all planets are in a state of continuous of free fall towards the Sun. Hence, if the Sun magically disappeared from within the solar system, every planet would continue with their forward motion and eventually race beyond the boundaries of our solar system. Consider this, Earth revolves around the Sun at a staggering speed of 67,000 miles per hour, 107,826.05 kmph. In the case of a sudden loss of the Sun's gravitational pull, the Earth would shoot out of its orbit at the same speed. Since Earth and all the other planets are moving very fast through space, the Sun's presence keeps them moving around itself. If the Sun were to suddenly disappear, Earth and the other planets would retain their forward motion, effectively flying off into outer space in a straight line. No one has any idea what would happen if that occurred. What's certain, though, is that we Earthlings would soon be lost in space. Of course, without the Sun none of us would even exist in the first place. Scientists who have studied the origins of life on Earth point to Earth's perfect positioning with regard to its distance from the Sun as a main factor in creating the conditions that allow life to exist on Earth. So what would happen to that life if the sun suddenly went out? Because light from the sun takes eight and a half minutes to reach Earth, we wouldn't notice immediately if the sun suddenly went out. Nine minutes later, though, we'd find ourselves in complete darkness. If it was already dark on our side of the world, we'd notice the moon suddenly disappear. Why? The moon does not produce light. We only see the moon because sunlight reflects off of it. As the sunlight that was illuminating the moon disappears, so would the moon. The same would go for the many other celestial bodies in the sky, such as planets, which we see only because of the sun's reflected light. Without the sun's warmth, Earth would quickly become a much colder place. Fortunately, Earth retains heat fairly well, so humans wouldn't freeze instantly. Life would get much more difficult immediately, though. Although no one can know for sure exactly what would happen, scientists estimate that the average global surface temperature would drop below zero degrees Fahrenheit within a week or so. You've probably withstood such temperatures during cold winter months before, so what's the big deal? The problem is that the temperature would continue to drop steadily. Within a year, the average global surface temperature could dip well below minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit. By that time, the top layers of the oceans of the world would have frozen over. Although the frozen top layers of the oceans would insulate the deep waters below, 
Keeping them liquid for hundreds of thousands of years, they would eventually freeze as Earth moved toward a stable average global surface temperature of about minus 400 degrees Fahrenheit. At that point, the atmosphere would have also frozen and fallen to Earth, leaving anyone left alive exposed to the harsh cosmic radiation that travels through space. Although some microorganisms living in the Earth's crust would survive, the majority of life would enjoy only a brief post-Sun existence. Photosynthesis would halt immediately, and most plants would die in a few weeks. Large trees, however, could survive for several decades, thanks to slow metabolism and substantial sugar stores. With the food chain's bottom tier knocked out, most animals would die off quickly, but scavengers picking over the dead remains could last until the cold killed them. Humans could live in submarines in the deepest and warmest parts of the ocean, but a more attractive option might be nuclear or geothermal-powered habitats. One good place to camp out, Iceland. The island nation already heats 87% of its homes using geothermal energy and, says astronomy professor Eric Blackman of the University of Rochester, people could continue harnessing volcanic heat for hundreds of years. <laughs>